everybody! Today's video is very special. It's very exciting for me because it's a beautiful pen and it's an exquisite nib. So this is a serious nibbage video for sure. And the pen is on loan from Scribo. It is this absolute gem of a beauty. It is the Feel uh, River de... River de... Le Stelle. So, <laughs> anyway, it's on loan. The cost of the pen, just to hop straight into it, um, is, as I have it set up, the base price is like 580 euros. This particular one is 680 without that. And I'll show you why it is an added cost. While we look at the pen, let me tell you a bit about it. The feel, to see again the stars, looks upwards at the stars, or rather it repro reproduces their luminous power on its midnight blue pen body and anticipates our journey towards the desire to see the stars again, beginning with those of the cinema. The feel has a colossal amount of nib options. You can get, okay, let me, let me do this. You can get 18 karat, triple broad, extra fine, extra, extra fine, fine, broad, 52 degrees, 1.4 millimeter stub, 14 karat, extra fine flex, 14 karat, fine flex, 14 karat, medium flex, and 14 karat, broad flex. I have the triple broad. That's right. That's why it's so special. So... To see again the stars, thus ends the first canticle of Dante's Divine Comedy when the Supreme Poet and Virgil contemplate the starry sky at the exit from hell. This is how we want to imagine ourselves soon. Feel free to look at the sky, feel free to look at the stars. It included this beautiful book. And feel free to look at the stars both in a strictly physical and metaphorical sense. And it is to the stars of the cinema and the cinema itself that we dedicate the new feel with special attention for one of the most beautiful and significant realities of our city, the Cineteca of Bologna. In such a difficult moment, for the, even for the whole world of art and culture, the Cineteca of Bologna continues to spread the art of image and cinematography to everyone, and we at Scribo are happy to contribute, albeit in small part, to the restoration of some great films through the projects of Imagine Ritrovata? We will donate 10% of the revenue for each model sold to the Cineteca, Cineteca of Bologna to contribute actively to the recovery and restoration of the projects of L'Imagina Ritrovata. Um, it's a state-of-the-art film restoration and conservation laboratory and is part of the Fondazione Cineteca di Bologna. It's a point of reference at international level for the methodologies developed, for the constant work of research, for the vastness of the range of action in the restoration of the world film heritage. The instruments the laboratory is equipped with are technologically avant-garde and designed to work on film materials from every cinematographic, cinematographic era. Um, and so, feel is an invitation to live a unique writing experience of the highest quality. Today, feel is even more an exhor exhortation to help finance the world of art and culture. The feel. So it's very beautiful. Now, let me just quickly show you the packaging because I really, really want to write with a pen and show it to you. Scream's packaging is fabulous. I really like it. It's very useful. And if you purchase this particular like setup with a pen from the website, you get a complimentary 20 ml bottle of ink. And this one is so cute. Absolutely adorable. This is the Blue Cosmico and I have put the ink in the pen. Just adorable. A sweet little treat that I really appreciate and I also really like that it's just like a cute little size. The box is a nice soft to the eyes blue gray. Scribo, feel the writing. It's magnetic. Honestly, I'm just thrilled with this box. The packaging is solid and consistent so you get tissue paper inside the tissue paper i will show you but first i'll take this out we'll show you the paperwork which is just 
simple on the bottom. You get the feel the writing and I guess I'll take it out. Just explains to you what you have, um, like about Scribo and your international guarantee certificate, all that kind of stuff. So we'll just move that out of the way. The box, amazing. It's totally reusable and it's not huge compared to the size of the pen. Magnetic. I have friends who use these for dip pen holders, glass pens, because it's, you know, it's sturdy. So I love that. And it gets even better. What you get in your tissue paper is a little canvas and leather pen sleeve. I love this color. It's like a navy bluish. Inside, you can have two pens and in here is a little polishing cloth. Beautiful. I've actually used this. I have another feel. And um, I've used these before like many times. They're super useful and I just appreciate the packaging. So thank you, Scribo. That is awesome packaging. Now, like 10 minutes later, let's get busy with this pen. The pen. So as they said, like a, it looks like a starry night sky, like a deep, midnight blue with layers of stars so some are smaller and darker some are bright and glowing it is the faceted body the funny thing is when i first got my first feel i did not like the shape of it and it has really grown on me <laughs> so that just goes to show your taste change but also it's super comfortable and i think on this colorway like not a solid color it looks extra spectacular so you've got the feel which is the feather logo you've got a nice springy clip which is fairly low profile to the cap simple center band it is a piston filler and if we uncap it you have the nib which is let me get close to the nib for you so there is the nib it is uh, the 18 karat gold says triple broad on the side, single slit, round breather hole, and insane tipping, like insane in the iridium point tipping membrane. I mean, I assume it's iridium. And it has an ebonite feed. So here is the pen in my hand. It is a large pen, but it's not heavy. And I do find it quite comfy quite well balanced all of this like none of this is sharp like it just feels really good I really like the pen and if you wish to post I'm sorry it doesn't post but really you shouldn't need to post let's just show you a quick size comparison I have a couple pens here what we have is a Bennu Euphoria Mont Blanc 149 Mont Blanc 146 Solitaire the Mont Blanc 146. We have the new Scribo pen, which is the Piuma, so it's slightly smaller. Uh, we have an Aurora 88, and we have the Scribo feel. So it's definitely a thicker pen, and it's taller. If we do a quick uncapping, the thing is, it's a full-size pen. Like, it's a big pen. I don't find it, like, super uncomfortable to hold like an m1000 is a bit like a pelican m1000 is like a bit girthy to hold but i don't really have that issue here because the section is not like that so there you go just a quick look at rough sizes perfectly fine like it's the moral of the story here is it's a full-size pen but it's not oversized so let's cap these. Let's get them out of the way because I really want to write with it to show you. Because this is definitely a serious image video. It is oh so serious. Now let's zoom in a bit. That's too close. Let's do this. Okay, so you can see it's very pretty. You can see that nib, it says, feel the writing. Okay, so the nib, 
it is a large block of tipping. So this is probably not a pen you're going to want to use in your Hobonichi or your journal, like your, your work journal. It's definitely a signature pen, big, bold writing, uh, hand lettering, characters, standout writing. Okay, so we have, I left it uncapped, sorry. The Scribo. I'm just laughing at my writing here. It looks like I'm writing with a marker. This is the feel and the ink. Wait, let's do the, the nib. The nib. It is the 18 karat redonkulous serious nibbage triple broad. One of the things I love about Scribo is the nib selection. There is a huge range of nib options available. They're not inexpensive, but they are totally worth it because they are killer nibs. Killer. The ink is, this is the um, Scribo, I'm trying to write so you can actually see what I'm doing. This is the Scribo Blue Cosmico, which I think is a fantastic match for the pen. And in terms of line variation, do not apply pressure to this nib. The 18 karat Scribo nibs are slightly soft, so they will yield as you write, but don't put pressure on them because you don't want to misalign the tines. So don't press too far. Don't like, it's not a flex nib. Okay. This is not the flex nib. So you can get line variation just because of the shape of the nib and with a touch of pressure you get like a nice wet line but it is lovely and it's obviously just it's a marker and it's really just for fun so like what holiday is coming up okay canada day is coming up well this is blue not red let's do let's just do a congratulations so in terms of being a nib for like addressing and like big bold writing that's like full of character there like congratulations do you need to spend 680 euros to get a pen that can do a nib like this when you could do it with a sharpie you don't have to but you could and it's way more fun than a sharpie and it does not reek like a sharpie so congratulations Hello, Jello. It's just delightful. I love it. It's so much fun. If you're looking for a serious, serious nib for serious inky fun and you want to actually use up your notebooks and ink samples and ink bottles, this is the nib for it. It is delish, del delightful, delicious. Seven. wildly panting fruit flies. Another really great thing about this kind of nib, it really brings out the characters and features of your inks. You get really nice shading, sheen if they have sheen. It's just a really nice way to enjoy your fountain pen good, goodness, your paper, your ink. It's really pleasant. So let's change the angle, see it from the side, see what it looks like, and we'll be right back. Very, very pretty 
uh, Lebeder Lustella. Mm, to see again the stars, let's just call it that because that's easier for me to say. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Scribo for loaning me this pen that I probably might not ever send back. It happens. It's been known to happen. And I hope this has helped you discover a new serious nibbage pen. And I hope this has brought you some enjoyment at the very least. If it did, I would love it if you would like and subscribe and share. And if you really loved it, I'm on Patreon. Let me know what you think of the pen in the comments down below. Also the packaging, because I really like to give them feedback. Like I like to give pen companies feedback because I'd like to, you know, we'd like to improve what we get and get what we want. So let me know what you think and any thoughts and whatnots. And that's everything. Have a lovely day.